Hey everybody, it's Rox, and I thought that it would be fun and exciting to do a new kind of video. Um, I saw this tag on um, Alexandra Bonds, Alexandra Bonds, can I say that? Alexandra Bond's YouTube channel. I like her. She just seems really down to earth and she's in Atlanta. Maybe one day I'll bump into her. And I thought that I would do it too. It's gonna be something fun and something that you guys can kind of get to know me a little bit. So we're gonna just jump right into it. Okay, you guys, the first question is blush or bronzer? Um, I am a blush girl only because I don't really know how to put on bronzer. You know how it is when you see somebody and they got on so much bronzer, you feel like you could just put a little teeny tiny hook on the top of their head and just kind of hang them from around your neck. <laughs> they just look like a gold charm. Uh, I don't really know how to do bronzer, so I don't wear bronzer. Lipstick or lip gloss? I am a lipstick person because lipstick, when you take pictures, it just shows up better. And um, you know, lip gloss is really cute and shiny and all of that stuff. But when you want it to, you want to see some, you need to put on some lipstick. Now you can put lip gloss on over it. I do that sometimes, but for the most part, I like lipstick. Eyeliner or mascara? I am an eyeliner girl. I'm trying to learn how to do this liquid eyeliner thing, but yeah, now I gotta have on eyeliner. If I don't have on eyeliner, you know how you be at work, you don't wear no eyeliner, and then somebody walk up to you and be like, "Girl, what's wrong? You don't feel good?" <laughs> no, I don't have on eyeliner. Foundation or concealer? Um, this is new for me. I just started wearing foundation. I'm trying to work on my skin, you guys. I'm 40 years old and I just gotta, you know, you just, you can't be walking around with your skin all jacked up. So, um, I do wear Revlon Color Stay Foundation and that works best for me. Neutral or color eyeshadow? Um, I like both, really. I, I like to wear neutral shadow, um, for the most part, but I do like to wear color. And I, like I said, you can't never see it on this video. Can y'all see I got on, like, a green color today? Can you see it? Um, I do like to wear all kind of colors, but you can never see it. But I'm telling y'all, some days I get to work and I my, my eyeshadow be so so way out. I'll be looking like Roxanne, where are you going? Pressed or loose eyeshadow? Um, I, I mostly, for the most part, wear pressed shadow. I mean, I'll do some pigments and things like that. But, you know, pigment, I'm not really good at keeping in control of fallout and all that, you know. Um, a lot of times you'll see people who have on the pigment and they got makeup all, all, you know, eyeshadow all down here, all in their hair and all that stuff. You know what? It's just too much work. So, um, pressed eyeshadow for the most part. Brushes or sponges? Um, I use brushes for the most part. I mean, 98%. I might use a sponge every now and then, like when I'm trying to do like a little color under my eye like this. I'm not really good with, you know, my hand is just not steady enough sometimes. So, sometimes a sponge works good for me, but I know most people use brushes. Opie or China Glaze? Um, really neither. I mean, well, you know what? I, I, I'll take that back. I mean, if I'm going to buy some fingernail polish, it'll be China Glaze. But um, I really like Orly fingernail polish, and they sell that at Sally's and some other drugstores and stuff like that. But to me, it's like um, Opie quality fingernail polish for less. You know, I like Opie, but you know, you can get, really, you can use any fingernail polish. If you got a really good top coat on it, that's all you really need. And I love Sally Hansen's. They got a diamond finish and platinum finish nail top, uh, uh, top coats. And they work really, really well. So that's what I use. Longer short nails. I like long and short nails. It just depends. I mean, if my nails grow out, then I like them long. If they not grown, if I cut them down, then I like them short. So either way, acrylic or natural. Um, I don't mind looking at acrylic or natural nails. I mean, you know, each to each his own. I personally like to wear my nails natural. These are my nails. Can y'all see them there? Right, let me not show my thumb. Y'all, I'm going to tell y'all the story about my thumb one day. One day. Well, I'll just tell you now. When I was like a year old, my thumb got cut off and uh, on the uh, exercise bike and it grew back it grew back they didn't sew it back on i was like maybe a year old i stuck my finger into the uh bicycle spokes trying to touch the spokes and thumb chopped off so when it grew back so you guys look at my thumbs okay can you see the difference there one is much shorter than the other okay so that's this one <laughs> and you know it grows funny it kind of grows curved over like that so I don't normally even let it roll this long but the rest of my nails are long right now um so that's the story with my nails but yeah natural nails these, these are my nails I if they're long or short they're going to just be mine I ain't really got money to be spending on no um, acrylic nails every two weeks I'd much rather spend my money differently 
brights or darks i love brights when it's time for brights i like darks when it's time for darks flower or no flower i guess that means designs i don't really put designs on my fingers but i will put them on my toes um, it's just too distracting like when I look at my nails if I see any kind of something other than just some color I just be looking at it so long then I just want to start picking at it and you know I just know so it's just best for me not to do nothing on my nails but on my toes much cuter oh you know what though I will put the um, Sally Hansen Sally Hansen has those um, strips those nail strips what are they called uh, 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 salon effects I think it is I will put those strips on there and they got a lot of cute little designs I will use those but not when my nails are long I'll only do that when my nails are short when they're long and then you got like hound's tooth or flowers on there you know it just it's, it's a little bit too much okay perfume or body splash you guys I am a perfume girl anybody who knows me I mean I, I'm one of those ones that put on so much perfume that you can't even walk by I like to leave a scent. I want a trail. I want you to know that I was there. You guys, I love perfume. I'm my very favorite. My signature smell right now is Chloe. I'm telling y'all, I love me some Chloe. I mean, it. it is one of those scents that just stays on you all day. You don't never have to refresh it, and it catches everybody's attention. So I just love Chloe. I am a perfume girl altogether. Lotion or body butter? I don't really wear body butter. I mean, I wear lotion. I go to Bath and Body Works, and I try to link up my scents, um, my ba my Bath and Body Works lotion with my perfume scent, so that I can kind of layer the two. Um, I don't do body butter. My girlfriend at work just bought me some uh, shea butter, some um, natural shea butter, or whatever it is, and I just keep on looking at that thing. I'm like, now what am I supposed to do with this? That stuff looks just like you know when you make Jiffy, and then you stir it up and thing. And before you pour it in the pan to get cooked, that's what the, the Shea Body Butter looked like. It looked just like some uncooked Jiffy. <laughs> body wash or soap? Can't do body wash. Y'all girls, y'all know body wash is the instant yeast infection. I know that's too much information, but I'm just going to keep it real for y'all. Y'all quit using that body wash. Go on and get you some Caress, Dove, you know, some real mild, um, Olay, any of those. But mm -mm, no, no body wash for me. Ugh. Lush or other bath companies, I don't know what Lush is. And like I just told you guys, I love Bath and Body Works, so that's good. Jeans or sweats? Um, I don't really own any sweats. I got a couple of sweatsuits, um, you know, the kind that you get from BB or Juicy or something like that. But for the most part, I am a jeans girl. I don't own really any sweats. I, I just not That's just not me. And I got jeans. I got all kind of jeans. I got I got tight jeans. I got skinny leg jeans. I got flare jeans. I got boot cut jeans. I got boyfriend jeans. I got jeans for every day. I got dress up jeans. I got casual jeans. I got jeans for your ass. Long sleeve or short? Well, I like short in the summer and I like long in the, in the winter. Dresses or skirts? I don't really wear it neither. And it's funny because I, I do like my legs, but I don't, um, I'm not a dress or a skirt person. I keep on saying that I'm going to get in the habit of wearing dresses because I do like to see when my friends have on their dresses, I think they look so cute. And I'm just always saying like, oh, I need to give me a pair, a couple of dresses. So I'll say dresses, but I don't really wear either. Uh, stripes or plaids? Stripes and plaids. I mean, why not? Flip flops or sandals? Um, sandals, scarves or hats? I don't um, really wear scarves or hats <laughs> because I feel like I have a big head. I would like to wear scarves. I mean, I love to see people with scarves on. I think it's so chic and so, you know, just real fresh and everything. But I, I don't wear scarves. I don't buy scarves. Let me not try to act like I do scarves and all that. I just don't. But I like to see them on other people. So I would say scarves if I was going to pick one or the other. Studs or dangly earrings? Well, you guys, actually, I like dangly earrings. But for the most part, I am a studs girl. Necklaces or bracelets? Um... I like necklaces. I love bracelets. I like jewelry. I like jewelry. I like quality jewelry. I like cheap jewelry. I'm just a jewelry person. So I'm going to always have on a bracelet. I'm always going to have on a necklace. So both of them. Heels or flats? Now, you guys, I am 5'9", and um, I do not own one pair of flats. If you're going to count my flip-flops. <laughs> but for the most part, I do not wear flats. I don't own a pair of flats. I don't like fl the way flats look on my legs. Um, I have been wearing heels basically since I was 20 years old and I just wear heels. Just heels just make your legs look sexier and if you have thinner legs like 
I always still think that I'm real skinny because I just was real skinny in high school and you know all of that um, I think that when you have on heels and your legs are skinny it just helps your leg to look better you know ain't nothing worse than seeing somebody with skinny legs and flat shoes and then don't be wearing a size 9 or 10 or something like that you just look like you got boats on the end of some toothpicks some cowboy boots or riding boots but I don't really wear neither I mean if I wear boots I wear boots all the time and when it's cold but um they are gonna be I guess you could say riding boots but you know I just don't do cowboy boots. a jacket or hoodie definitely Jackie don't do hoodies at all forever 21 or Charlotte Roost y'all y'all can't tell you when the last time I shopped in Charlotte Roost I mean I just Charlotte no yeah, Charlotte Roos has nothing in there for me. I just, I like Forever 21. Abercrombie or Hollister, I don't do either because they're both very preppy looks and I'm not preppy. I mean, I don't like to pigeon my whole, <laughs> I don't like to pigeon my whole, I don't like to pigeonhole myself into any certain style because of whatever I feel like wearing, I feel like wearing, but for the most part, I, those stores are not stores that I go into. My kids love them though. Saks or Nordstrom's, okay, well, you guys, I like Saks, but I like Nordstrom's. Nordstrom's is usually where I would go if I had to pick between the two. Curly or straight? Um, I like to wear my hair curly. Straight just makes me look like, you know, uh, Alice the Goon from, you know, one of the last of the dodos. Y'all remember the last of the dodos, and now I'm giving away my age. Bun or ponytail? I don't do either. I don't like to wear my hair in a bun. I don't like to wear my hair in a ponytail. My hair is going to be down. Bobby pins or butterfly clips? I don't really know what butterfly clips are. Um, is it the ones that snap clothes? You know, you put it on, you snap clothes. I don't really pin my hair up, so I don't wear bobby pins or butterfly clips. Hairspray or gel? I don't never use hairspray. And um, I use gel. When, it's so funny because earlier today I was on Nicole Bitchy's website and they were talking about um, Toya from Tiny and Toya. Toya got this this gel, Ampro gel, you know, the brown gel, you know, the, you know, quote unquote ghetto gel that um, she got the contract for and pro jail and so she's the face her and her husband and you know what that's good um and all these people had all these negative things to say about it being ghetto jail and this and that listen i get my hair done in buckhead or you know actually in a really nice area it's not buckhead and she moved but anyway um when i get my own hair done and to me it's like what makes a product ghetto or not i mean you know <laughs> stupid you know I, hey the brown gel, when you have a short haircut, I'm going to give y'all a tip real fast. When you have a short haircut and you wash your hair, and you know the back back here is taper, right? Okay, so you wash your hair and you about to wrap it, but you in between perms. Um, well, this is what you do. You get you a little bit of that Ampro brown gel and you just lay it on the very bottom and on the sides like your sideburn. You put your little paper around here, tie it up. And you sit on the under the gel and it lays it down like you got a fresh perm, y'all. Y'all better stop playing. It, it ain't nothing that you can or cannot use. It was, it's whatever works. I mean, what is this is ghetto stuff? Stupid. Long or short? I love long hair. I love short hair. I love a hairstyle. So when I have a weave, I love having my hair very, very, very long. When I have my own hair out, I love to wear my hair very, very, very short side sweat bang or full bang um this is a uh, <laughs> this is a side sweat full bang it's a little combination of both i don't really like bangs at all but you guys know from my hair video that i had to get a full weave i don't have a part you got to have a side bang when you don't have a part so that is what uh, i got going on here right now but normally i like to wear my hair parted in the middle and it ain't it don't be no bangs up or down Hair is always going to be down. I just don't pin my hair up. Rain or shine? Um, shine. However, being in Atlanta, y'all, it's 160 degrees today, the damn heat index. I hate this heat. I mean, I hate it with every piece of my be being. I hate it. So, I like shine, but I like California shine. I like 80 degree shine. I don't like 100 degree shine. So, a shine but California shine. Summer or winter, more and more, I am starting to like the winter. I really don't enjoy the summers here in Atlanta. Fall or spring, um, I like the spring in Atlanta. Now, spring in Atlanta is just like Los Angeles year-round weather. Um, it's just beautiful here. The only thing is it's allergy times, and you know, I if I can just stay up on my Zyrtec, then I'm good, but uh, spring in Atlanta is beautiful. Chocolate or vanilla, um, 
It's interesting. I don't like chocolate ice cream, but I love Rocky Road ice cream. Okay, y'all. Now, this question here is east or west coast. Now, come on, y'all. Don't get me the who banging up in here. What? This is west coast. This is west coast for life. Y'all, if I had more room, I would do a crib walk for y'all. This is west coast all the way. Almost threw up a crib sign. I'm not no gang affiliation. Yeah, this is west coast for life. I mean, for real. I That is always my home. I love it here in Atlanta. Um, I can't really imagine living back on the West Coast unless I am rich enough to live exactly where I want to live. Uh, but yeah, this is West Coast till I die. Okay, and then on uh, Alexandra Bonds, she had a random um, bonus. And hers was tattoos or piercings. And uh, y'all, I got a lot of tattoos. I mean, I got this one. This is like one of my... I love this one here. And uh, I have 10 tattoos. And I have piercings too. So I... I do uh, like tattoos, so it's going to be a tie. But if I have to pick between the two, maybe it would be tattoos. My random bonus question, because she said that we should have one bonus, it would be um, naughty or nice. And what do you guys think? Now, if y'all seen any of my uh, Israel with this rocks videos, I'll put the links down in the bottom bar for those. You guys know that I love to talk about sex. Um, it's just, I just... It's funny to me because people are so uncomfortable with it and all that. So I do really like to talk. So if I was going to pick between naughty and nice, which one do you guys think it would be? Naughty. Now, I ain't nasty and stuff, y'all. But I, you know, I'm nice. I'm nice to everybody. But when it's time to be naughty, I'm going to be naughty. So anyway, that's it, you guys. Um, this tag was fun. I feel like I got to know you guys a little bit. Y'all got to know me. We family, y'all. Rock stars, we family. We family. Now, I'm going to tag everybody. I want you guys to do this video also for those of you who make videos. So, you guys know that I'm It's Rocks. My YouTube channel is For It's Rocks. I have Facebook and Twitter. And those are It's Rocks. So you guys are following like me over there. And, um... That's it. I'm glad you guys stuck with me. I know this is going to be a long video. I'm glad you guys stuck in there with me. And uh, I hope this damn bang. I'm telling you, I'm about tired of this bang. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. And I plan on doing the same. Until next time, Rockstars.